Hey everybody, this is John Gallant, and lately I've been learning a lot about Vue.js. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I got set up with Vue.js and VS Code. I'm also gonna show you how I overcame a lot of the formatting and ESLint issues I ran into as I went about setting up my first project. So as you jump in, the first thing you'll notice in their getting started brings you through some very simple steps on how to get set up. Now I went through all these steps and learned everything I could about Vue.js, and then I got to a point where I had to create a real app, and it turns out that all of these methods that I learned at the beginning were not really applicable to actually real world development. So what I recommend is that you just breeze through this getting started as fast as you possibly can, and then jump right to the CLI. You can install the CLI with NPM or Yarn, and basically what this will do is scaffold out an entire application for you with tests and linting and so on. Uh, so let's just get started and look at that. So before you install the CLI, you're gonna need Node. Um, so just make sure that you have Node installed. If not, go ahead and install it. You can use Chocolatey or whatever to get it installed. Then you can either install NPM or Yarn. I'm gonna use Yarn, and I have version 113. Then you're gonna install the Vue CLI which is just yarn global add at view slash CLI. And you have a couple of options for creating projects. You could do view, create, and then the name of project. And that's gonna give you a bunch of different options. You can manually select features, you can do default and so on. I'm just gonna exit out of this so I can show you the UI. So you can go view UI. And that's going to start this web application for you. If you go up to the upper left, this drop down, you can say um, you can select View Project Manager. So I'm just going to change this here. I'm just going to put it in temp, type a name, test app three. I'm going to select yarn. You could choose a preset if you like. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to select manual and go through all the features. Next. I'm just gonna add all of these TypeScript, Progressive, Router, UX, preprocessors, unit testing, end-to-end -end testing, and use config files. Click next. I'm gonna select Dart SAS. I'm going to select ESLint plus prettier. I'm gonna select Jest, and I'm gonna select Cypress. And I'm also gonna do lint and fix on commit. I'm gonna click create project. You can choose to save the preset or not. I'm gonna continue without saving. You notice down here you get this pop-up that says install the Vuter extension. I'm gonna click install. I'm gonna open that file again. And you'll notice that it is recognized by Vuter. You go down here and it says view. So now if I do Alt Shift F, you'll notice that something happens here. Let me do that again. Alt Shift F to format the document. Take a look at here, and take a look at here. What it's doing is it's actually removing white space, all unnecessary white space. Um, and that is a problem. That's a problem here because we actually want it to honor this white space here. And if we start ESLint, I'm gonna do control backtick, and I'm gonna say yarn serve. That's gonna start the app, it's gonna run it on localhost 8080, and it's gonna tell you if there are any uh, ESLint errors as you're developing. So let's undo this, I'm gonna click save, no errors. I'm gonna format the document, and that is Alt-Shift-F, right there, I'm gonna click save, it's gonna rerun it, and then it's gonna tell me that there are problems. The problem is that prettier requires a space, but the format that actually happens with Vuter by default uh, actually removes that space. So out of the box, the template does not work. I'm gonna take a quick break from this video and show you the exact settings I had to use to get everything to work well together. I ditched Prettier, I ditched Pretty HTML, went with JS Beautify HTML, and set this wrap underscore attributes property to auto. And then I set the default formatter uh, dot TypeScript to VS Code TypeScript. That seemed to work the best for me. Uh, your mileage may vary, uh, but that's what worked for me. Uh, and then in ESLint, I switched out a view Prettier to ES beautifier slash standard. And then I added a couple of exceptions here to the rule size. I disabled comma dangle and I turned off line break style. Take a look at the description of this video for the link to my blog that has these settings so you can easily copy and paste them into your environment. 
the rest of this video goes in depth into everything I had to do to get to this point. It still might not be perfect. I'll figure that out in the, in the coming months uh, and I'll try to keep this blog updated. Uh, feel free to comment on anything that you find that uh, helps you out. Okay, so if you do control comma and you go into settings and you type in template and you go down here. Okay, so it's using pretty HTML. The other option is JS Beautify HTML, but Vuter recommends pretty HTML. So you go to pretty HTML and it's got a bunch of settings. So let's take a look. Now I spent a bunch of time trying to debug what's happening here. And this line right here, remove all white space. Okay, there's no way to override that in pretty HTML. It will remove that white space no matter what. I search and search and search. There is no way to override that. So kind of stuck with it. If you're going to use pretty HTML, you're stuck with it removing that space. Okay, so I said, okay, let me just use pretty HTML because uh, you know that's what they recommend. Uh, but then I went into the settings of ESLint to try and remove this rule here. And I did find out how to remove it, but then that opens up another can of worms where it's like you're removing this and then my formatter is not complying with this. And it's just, it just got so out of sync um, that I said, okay, let me just not use pretty HTML. Uh, let me actually go into hello world and see that you can see the default formatting here is just crazy. I personally do not like this hanging bracket here. Uh, and I also, you know, I don't like attribute wrapping. Okay. So let me just look at this as like normal size. Okay. So this is usually the zoom size of what I work with. Um, there's so much wrap happening that it just goes down the page like crazy. Uh, and so if I go here and do uh, all shift F to format the document, right, it's going to format it and it's going to wrap all those attributes again. So now we have this massive file here and we don't really need that. And so inside of pretty HTML, you could actually go in and say, you know, you don't want to wrap these attributes. And so you can go into settings right here into settings and you can say for uh, viewer, uh, for my um, format options, Right, you can say, I want this to wrap attributes false. Okay. So you can see that sometimes the settings work, sometimes they don't. I, I'm not sure what's happening. So I, I said, well, let me just try and just use um, the um, prettier direct, and it's not recognizing it as a valid uh, option, but it actually still works. So if I go here, it actually formats it, right? So here. So that looks a lot better and it's not getting rid of that white space. So it pretty HTML. I didn't really like it because it gets rid of all white space. Okay. With uh, pretty or directly, it does not get rid of all white space, um, but you go down here uh, and you'll see that I'm getting some ES lint issues because there's a line wrap because pretty or still wraps the attributes. Okay. So here, so I'm still getting that, that dangling bracket and the attribute wrapping. I just personally don't like that. Okay, so with pretty HTML, it was removing all white space. With prettier, it's wrapping attributes and has the dangling bracket. And the JSX um, dangled bracket um, setting did not work with view. Uh, so then I said, okay, this is kind of getting crazy. What uh, I spent so much time looking at the settings of prettier in pretty HTML uh, and, and ESLint and just debugging this, I probably spent a good maybe 10 hours this weekend uh, just messing around with all these settings and trying to debug this and figure out what's happening. Uh, and finally, I just gave up on pretty HTML and prettier. <laughs> there is another option and that is JS Beautify HTML. Uh, so that's what I actually ended up using. Uh, oh, oh, by the way, in prettier, there's no way to turn off attribute wrapping. It is impossible. I looked through all the GitHub issues. They said that that's what they prefer. There's no override. They might consider implementing it in the future. Uh, but for me, that was enough to just say, you know what? I'm, I'm just, I just don't like this style and I'm going to try something else. So I'm just going to remove this setting right now. And I'm just going to go back into settings. I'm at, but you can hit control comma and you can type in template here and you can select JS Beautify HTML. Now, if you go here, you'll see it says JS Beautify HTML, fine, good. I'm gonna open up Hello World, I'm gonna do Alt Shift F. Okay, so it looks the same, right? It looks the same. I'm gonna open up App View. Okay, it does not remove the white space. So we're getting somewhere. So, so I said, what if JS Beautify allows me to disable the attribute wrapping here so that I can get a better format? And then I found this setting. 
So I'm gonna go into user settings and I'm going to uh, paste this in here. So if you say Viewer format, default format options, JS Beautify HTML, wrap options auto. Go here, Alt Shift F. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. This looks more like HTML that I personally like to look at. I have huge screen um, and I don't need it to wrap and I do not like wrapping HTML attributes. Okay, zoom in a little bit. Still doesn't look that bad. I obviously have this reduced down here. Okay, so, okay, so we're getting somewhere. I'm gonna go back. I'm just gonna show you the format here. So I'm gonna do Alt Shift F, it looks great. Alt Shift F, it looks great. And Alt Shift F. Okay, so all my files are formatted. I'm gonna save everything. But you'll see, I'm still getting some errors down here in ESLint. Okay, tons of errors. So I'm just gonna do Control C, cancel that out, yarn serve again. Okay, so you notice that the ES lint settings are still looking for prettier, prettier, right? And I've pretty much abandoned prettier at this point. I'm not gonna use it. So I go into my ES lint rc.js file and I see I still have view prettier in my configuration settings there. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that. So I did a bunch of digging and discovered that there's a plugin called ES Beautifier, which works with JS Beautify real nicely. So let's go ahead and use that. So here I'm going to specify that I want to use this plugin, ES Beautifier, and then instead of view prettier, I'm going to use ES Beautify standard. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. And anytime you change the ESLint RC file, you actually have to stop the serve and you have to restart it, find that plugin. So let's go to the NPM page and get that install instructions. Okay, see here, uh, I need to install ESLint and then ES lint plugin es beautifier to do a yarn yarn add then i'm going to run yarn serve again okay so we're getting somewhere we still now we're we're running es lint with beautifier uh we see that it's missing trailing comma comma dangle so here it's expecting a comma at the end of this paren i personally don't like to add that comma there i see no use for it so i'm just going to remove that from the rules and the way i did that was i went to rules and I added this line here, comma, dangle, error, never. Okay, so we're gonna run this again. And then it's gonna complain that I'm using mixed line breaks. So it's expecting LF, but it found CRLF uh, and throughout. Uh, so since I'm on a Windows system and uh, you know potentially other people are gonna be on Linux or whatever, I, uh, you know, I don't even care at this point. I just want to get this running without that error. So I just turned off line break style like so, click save, and then I'm gonna restart the yarn serve. So now I'm running yarn serve with zero errors. Uh, formatting is working with Alt Shift F. So it took me forever to get to this point. I spent a lot of time messing around over the weekend. Maybe it looks pretty simple as I go through and brought you through this today. Uh, but the, the main point is, is that pretty HTML, I really don't like the way it formats or removes all white space. Uh, prettier, I don't like how it wraps attributes. JS Beautifier so far looks like the best option for me. All right, so that's it for now. I really hope that this video saves you some time. All right, take care.